Hello friends, welcome back. So I'm really excited. I'm doing another review video today and this is actually for the same company that reached out to me about reviewing their headset, which uh, I have right here. <laughs> and I have been using them, I do really like them. But yeah, the company is called Fifine and they mainly make mics and this was basically like their first headset or one of the first headsets they, that they made that they asked me to review and um, after I did that review they reached out to me again and asked me if I was interested in reviewing one of their mics and you know of course I said yes why not <laughs> so here I am here is the box and uh, I'm really excited for this this actually comes in three colors. They have a black, white, and a pink color. They originally asked me if I wanted to review the pink, but um, despite what my background may tell you, um, I'm actually not a huge fan of pink, like wearing pink or uh, like owning pink things really. So I asked if I can do one of the other colors and so I got the white instead. And uh, yeah. I'm really excited to see how well this works and if this goes well, I might even have this replace the mic I use now and have this be my main mic. So I'm super excited. But yeah, so here's the box. So on the back, it says there's a couple different like features. So it says pop filter, shock mount, headphone jack, type C port, tap to mute button, which I thought that was cool actually. There's just a little button at the top that you just tap. So super simple. Vivid RGB lighting. So that is also the same as they have on the headphones with the like spinning light. They have that um, RGB light in here too. So that's cool. RGB button and volume control. And at the top, it, it says element condenser, Polaroid pattern, cardioid output USB. So it's a plug and play mic. Again, just plug the USB in. Um, yeah, handy function keys, various RGB lighting, practical accessories, stable mic stand, plug and play, clear sound. Yep. All right, let's get this baby open. I actually did peek inside already when, uh, when I got this in the mail, but here we go. So excited. Oh, those must be the accessories. Alrighty, here is the mic. So this is cool. It has a knob here where you can uh, turn it and like adjust um, how it stands. So you can bring it up, bring it down. So that's really cool. I love how adjustable that is. I'm gonna play around with that later. Um, this is the pop filter. Um, does this come out? I imagine it does. Alright, I'm gonna have to play around with this one more, but yeah, let me see what else is in here. Um, okay, cool. So, instructions. These are, I guess, the little accessories. Um, okay, let's see what's in here. Ah, this is the plug to connect it to your computer. And what is this? Oh! Interesting. Is this like a replacement or is this another attachment? I am going to look at the instructions and um, get back to you in a sec. <laughs> okay, yeah, so this is what I thought it was, which is basically it's an attachment to um, take the mic off of its stand that it comes with and attach it to if you have like another mic stand or one of those extended arms that you like clip onto your desk. So this is basically just another attachment piece to put it on other stands. So that's cool. So yeah, I am going to set this up, get it all plugged in and um, do some mic tests and give you my review. Real quick, I just want to point out that this cable comes with its own little cable tie with their name on it, which I think is really cool, really helpful because I, um, I actually ended up buying like a whole set of cable ties because there's just so many cables here now and it's so easy to get lost in them and um, it can be hard to keep track of them. These cable ties are super, super useful. So I love that they included that in this. A nice little detail 
really appreciate that. So I just plugged it in here and I just wanted to show you that the color just turns on automatically. Um, it hasn't started changing yet, so I assume there's something I have to play around with to make that happen, but that's really cool and that's a really pretty color. I like that color. And it's just a simple USB-C connection, which is cool. They're like everywhere now, you know, our phones are usually on USB-C chargers now, so that's cool. You can potentially just use uh, one of those if you, you know, lose this cable or something. But oh my god, I just realized their little cable has their logo on it too. That's so cool. Everything's branded. Wow. Okay, so here I just want to show you that I figured out how to change the color and it is just this button right here and you just lightly tap it. And so there are a couple different color settings here I'll show you in the picture. So you can choose either one solid color or you can choose their dynamic multicolor gradient, which is what you see it doing now. It's like two colors in one and it just uh, fades from one to the other, which is really cool. Or you can choose a dynamic solid color gradient. So that should be the next one here. So now it changes from solid color to another solid color. Um, so that's really cool. There's a lot of color options. I honestly wasn't expecting all that. That's really, really cool. So you could really set it to whatever color you want, whatever mood you want. Um, love that. And this is like a super easy to use little button. Like you just lightly tap it and there it is changing all the colors. So that's really cool. I love that. And here is the little mute button at the top. and really easy the green means it's on and the red means it's off it looks a little uh, orange on my camera right now but it is red in real life and not blue it's green in real life not sure why my phone is doing that but yeah so that's cool so it actually took me a second to figure out how to set this up because it was turned off and I didn't realize that but so I plugged it in and like it wasn't working um, but so it turns out there's a little knob here I already forgot where it is um oh right right there so that also um, turns on and off like the gain I guess of the mic um, so it was turned all the way down then I was like oh why is there no sound coming through so you do need to turn this up before you start using it so just something to keep in mind <laughs> um, but yeah so far so good and um, I did actually just test it out it does work I will put in those mic tests here okay I am testing the white Fifine mic it is a couple inches away from my face Closer, hello, testing, testing. Farther away, testing, hello, hello, testing, one, two. Okay, and now comparing it to the blue snowball. Hello, testing, one, two, blue snowball. Close up, one, two, one, two. Far away, testing, blue snowball, one, two. Back to Fifine Mike. Wow, that really picks up sound from far away. Testing, one, two, one, two. Testing, testing. Woo! Let me go over there. Testing, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, let's see how that went. Okay, we're gonna test out some funky sounds, test out the pop filter. All right, pop, 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 pop. Now compare it to the blue snowball without a pop filter. Testing, no pop, no pop filter. Pop, p -p -p -s 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 -k -k -k. Okay, one more quick mic test. I am going to turn it up all the way, both on the mic and on OBS. It's probably gonna be quite loud. But so that is the white Fifine mic turned all the way up. And I'm going to do a very quick comparison to the blue snowball turned all the way up. Here we go. Okay, so this is the blue snowball turned all the way up. 
comparing it to the white Fifine mic. Testing, testing, one, two, one, two, three. Okay. So real quick, I took my snowball off. Uh, here it is, just the little ball. Um, I had it up on this mic stand here um, just to test out this little adapter it comes in and you know, it works just fine. I actually had to take the inside a bit off because it's a different like screw attachment in there but you can see that it comes off so this is for a slightly different attachment than the one I have in here now but just taking that out I can put it in no problem so uh, yeah you could throw it on on any other stand if you so choose and it becomes really convenient to you know just move it around and by the way, the pop filter does come off, you just kind of have to wiggle it out, but I don't see any point in taking it off because it's super useful, so I'm just going to keep it on. And yeah, but it is cool that all these pieces are kind of movable and you can change it out, so I do appreciate that. Okay, so final few words. I uh, did test it out and it does sound really good. It doesn't sound too far off from how my blue snowball sounds but there is definitely still a difference first of all you can turn the gain up on this which is not an option at all on the blue snowball so i appreciate that so the input is already adjustable basically so that's cool and then uh the fact that it has a pop filter obviously is really really nice and it helps keep some of those like pb words you know from popping um, so I really appreciate that I love the fact that it has the color changing option I love the really simple like touch mute right at the top that's super convenient because then you don't have to go into like all of your settings or turn anything off you just tap that you know to turn it on turn it off super easy to use I love that the little adapter for like another mic stand that works just fine too and so I love that they give you that as an option too yeah it just has a lot of capabilities for a mic that's just a little under $50 and it's really good quality and yeah I feel like it gives you a lot for the money again just like the headset did I um, so far I'm really enjoying working with this company and using their products and testing them out they have been really good so far uh, I will add though since um, it's now been a little bit since I've used the headset that it does kind of get in the way with my glasses that is an issue that I have with wearing headsets over time if I wear them with my glasses it starts to hurt my head but um, yeah just something to keep in mind if you did watch that review but anyway the Fifine white mic is really really good the full name is the Fifine Ampli Game A8 mic specifically I am definitely keeping it and I think this is gonna be my main mic now and uh, I'm probably gonna sell my blue snowball so I'm really excited to use it for one of my upcoming streams soon and really test it out then but uh, you can see slash hear for yourself how the mic test sounds I think it, it sounds really good it's once again a great option for a budget mic with a lot of cute extra little details and options and you know like just the fact that it has the color changing thing the RGB like and how bright and vibrant it is and the fact that it's like all over the mic I love that like it's so pretty it's just really nice to look at it's really aesthetic you know I mean if you're someone who doesn't really care about that then I guess it doesn't matter but I appreciate that I like color obviously so I really like that aspect of it good things to say about it all around let me know what you thought about it from this video and from the test and everything let me know if you would use this mic and yeah if you've used any of their other products let me know how that went hopefully this was helpful and you can get an idea of what using the mic is like <laughs> from this video if you're you know trying to figure out what to buy for yourself uh, for streaming or gaming or anything like that would definitely recommend this one i'm never gonna hate on the blue snowball because it's still a really good mic and i did appreciate it for the couple years that i've used it but this is definitely it's only a little bit more expensive it's like ten dollars more but you get a lot more for this so if you're someone who's choosing between the two for example i would definitely go with 
the Fi Fine mic, but again, I do like the Snowball and if you are trying to get something even cheaper, then that's a great option. It does really well. And if you don't really care about all the extra little add-ons and stuff, then that's a great option. But yeah, I really like it. I'm uh, really happy again that they reached out to me and I am more than willing to work with them again if they want me to review any other products. So yeah, but that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave me a like. If you aren't subscribed yet, I do have a couple <laughs> tech reviews on this channel. It's not the main theme of my channel. I do all kinds of different artsy stuff, fashion, makeup, hair dyeing, that is the main thing but I do also stream and sometimes game so I do need to dabble in some of this stuff too so yeah it's been nice having these options and playing around with it and testing it out and stuff so yeah if you're into any of that please subscribe and yeah hope you have a great day and I will see you on the next one bye